Hello there, and I'd like to introduce myself as an utter clown. I've just spent 20 minutes doing a walkthrough where I was not recording anything. <laughs> I'm just babbling to myself in my studio. Oh, that's depressing. Anyway, hello. Um, welcome to the first of two synth sound sets that I'm going to be revealing to you, uh, because this new project, uh, new release, comes in two parts. This project is called Doomsday, and it comes in two formats with uh, completely different sounds in them. It's not like I've done one, the same sounds in each one. Um, so there's a there's an absinthe version, and there's a massive version uh, which we're going to look at now. And Doomsday is basically um, a project that I've collaborated on with Ace game composer Sasha Dikachian. I think I've pronounced his surname right. He'll tell me if I haven't. Um, uh, who you may well know from uh, series like Mass Effect, Tron, Borderlands, Quake, and he's just been working on the uh, latest game in the Deus Ex franchise, Mankind Divided. Done an absolutely amazing score for it. Um, I'm pleased to say there are a few the unfinished noises in there, but but what we have here is a project that the two of us worked on together. Um, creating some sounds for his debut EP that he released, released, that he released and loosed upon <laughs> us uh, last year, um, and that was also called Doomsday. Um, fantastic, fantastic EP um, with some really great uh, collaborations on it with uh, Power Glove and Brett uh, from Blue Starly doing some guitar work and Maluka on vocals. Um, really excellent. You should definitely go out and listen to that because you'll hear loads of these sounds on it as well. So I'm going to rattle through some some of the massive patches for this. Um, going through them again, even though I've just done it. <laughs> All by myself with no one listening and no way to record it. Oh, God, what an idiot. Honestly, I'm tired. I am quite tired at the moment, uh, possibly even emotional. So uh, my many apologies. Um, so let's just go on. Um, play some sounds um, and tell you a little bit more about what the sound set's about, etc, etc. <laughs> So as you can hear from that very first sound, there's a certain level of aggressiveness to this sound set. Indeed there is. Um, the idea is for fairly gritty, electronic, distorted sounds, but um, with a certain cinematic atmospherics to them as well. Particularly that would be noticeable in the the absinthe collection but uh, the, there's some of it in here as well it's not it's not just uh pure raw aggression all the way through <laughs> But it is quite aggressive. And fun. It is mostly fun. This is a fun sound set. Fun and noisy and aggressive and in your face. I mean, there is, there's definitely an element of um, the dance floor about it. But it's quite a sort of intelligent, synthy, um, cinematic sort of interpretation of that sort of hybrid, gritty sound. No, no points for guessing what that's inspired by. <laughs> Quite a lot of uh, 
<laughs> high frequency in them there. There's some really nice um, stabby digital sounds here, stuff that you can use with your Brahms and your brassy sounds. And to get that sort of, you know, that real sort of epic hybrid sound. And obviously, if you are someone who does electronic music that's got an aggressive texture to it, then, then they're really made for that too. Not trying to emulate anything, not trying to go, oh, look at me, I'm still making dubstep, despite the fact that they've even stopped using it in advertising cars now. And something's been no longer being used to advertise cars. It's old hat, right? That's it. It's gone. Because <laughs> usually the, the sounds they used to advertise cars are already about two years out of date. So. Media composing and dubstep, it's, it's over, isn't it? That relationship has folded. So in the pads, you'll still hear a lot of digitalness, but um, a bit more of the atmospheric stuff here now. And it's rare that it falls into sort of... ambient territory like this one. That's probably, that may even be the, the softest sound in the entire sound set. Some very nice subtle movement in there. I don't know how well it's, you can pick it up there, but. And that's a very sort of deliberate thing. Because the sounds are aggressive, because they have that sort of very digital synth -y element, I've, I've tried to add a character to them that. Perhaps you don't necessarily associate with digital synthy sounds that um, gives them a bit of movement and life. One's a teeny bit quiet. <laughs> Atmospheric harmonics in that one. Darkness. Spooky. So if you want pads that are going to cut through the mix more than just sort of sit subtly in the background, this is these pads are going to do a good job of that. That one's got some really interesting stuff going. 
たいな。<笑>オッケー、we'll move on to synth miscellaneous.、Um, let's get tempo synced here because we don't want to repeat some of the、uh, sounds we've already heard from the synth lead section that were quite stabby and,、uh, and hitty. St stabby and hitty. <laughs> But obviously, one of my sound sets is that stuff programmed on the macros. Regression. Not quite seeing how that's.、Uh, how, how, how is that tempo synced? Okay,、uh, maybe something I've clicked on incorrectly there. I'll have to go back and look at that one. Oh, F bomb's fun. Oh, that's a bass.、Oh. One of the things sometimes when you're、uh, saving、uh, a patch in Massive is that you can easily accidentally click on attributes and they should have to go in and check that. Does that mean? Okay. <laughs> uh, the hunger. Seem to remember We Are Back being quite a good one. Yeah, that's definitely one of my favourites. Okay, on to basses.、Uh, we've had that one, haven't we? Acid Reflux. Played that before. <laughs> So, obviously, there'll be some bass lines in here. I was just holding down one key on that one. All that movement's done within the sound itself. Oh, look, I've got tempo sync still. What a gormless tit. <laughs> right, let's come out of that. Right, now you can hear some actual proper、um, bass noises. Let's play it a bit lower. So, we've got some punchy,、uh, dirty basses. But there are some really sort of angry ones like this. Briefly heard moments ago. 
Oh, there is there is actually some tempo seeing this stuff going on in the background of that. Yeah, my mistake. Go to hell. Fun. Lord of Sub. This should be a sub base, I'm guessing. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is fun. I might have to go back to my demo track and uh, stick that one in, actually. <laughs> That's a little aggressive. <laughs> oh, there's so many more. Lovely. Ooh, more subtlety. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, sorry if I'm sort of praising my own patches here. I've, I haven't played these for a little while. And also, Now you see, I don't know. I don't genuinely don't know if I'm about to repeat myself or something I've already said on this video, or it was on the one before I was making that I didn't actually manage to record, because I've been I've been working exclusively in Diva and Zebra, making subtle cinematic analog sounds for a few weeks now, and um, so actually having some really aggressive stuff to play with is, is really quite cool. I apologise if I said that about five minutes ago. If I said it about half an hour ago in my previous video, I take that apology back. I take it back. Now an interesting game for you, if you if you want to play, is um, you could buy these sound sets, the Massive and Absinthe sound sets, and Doomsday, and then you could also buy Sasha's um, EP, and you can have a game of Spot the Sound. Um, you can look out for these sounds in the track. I mean, obviously he used other sounds outside of this sound set that we collaborated on because uh, he's got a lot of very tasty synths and a nice modular setup in his beautiful studio. But um, they're in there. I've heard them. You'll hear them too. Love this one. A little bit subtle that one, although rather eternal. Nice little sort of ripple of distortion going through this one. I like. Yes. Now this is this is one I got a bit excited about in the video that you'll never see. Um, this is a bit lovely. Listen to those little sort of chunky bits in there. Just holding down one note. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yes, that's cool. So there's quite a sort of, I think there's quite a sort of spacey sci-fi feel to this. And if any of you are really familiar with Sasha's work um, and his Doomsday EP that he released last year, if you saw the amazing uh, teaser video that he did for it, that's got dark, sinister sci-fi written all over, and it's it's really cool. Okay, sound effects. I can't imagine there's much here. Um, we just played that one, so let's just see what we've got. What's that? 
Strange gargly vocal alarm. And Times Square Sweep, what's that? Interesting. So there you have it. Um, we've rattled through them reasonably quickly because there's two videos to watch, so I don't want to go on forever. Um, but yes, so this has been oh, this has been huge fun actually playing these sounds back after all this time. Um, but yes, so a lovely a lovely project to work on with Sasha. Um, I hope you appreciate the sounds that we put together for this this sound. So this is just the massive sounds. We'll go and do the absinthe video in a moment. Um, or you may actually be watching them the other way around, in which case, what an irrelevant statement. But anyway, yes, so atmospheric, cinematic, gritty, angry, aggressive, big, punchy, dirty sounds um, that I think you'll have a blast playing with. Um, that, that's one of the things about this sound. It's really fun. It's just a huge amount of fun to just sit down and bash around with these huge noises. It's, it's good laugh. It's good laugh. I've enjoyed myself, even if you haven't. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and record the Absinthe um, video now. Hopefully I'll actually record the first version, not have to do a second version like I have for this one. As ever, really appreciate your support. Um, feel free to leave me some feedback underneath this video. Always interested on your opinions. And I, except for when you're rude. Um, and, uh, or just obnoxious. Um, but if you're going to be nice, or even if you're just going to be intelligent and grown up, I'm always, always interested in what you've got to say. So thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the sounds. I hope you enjoy playing with them when you grab your copy. And I will speak to you again soon. Very soon indeed. Bye bye. <laughs>